Now I'm going to show you what we can do today and all the latest work since 2017. And how does AI play a role here? Um, by training a recurrent neural, neural network on 14 hours of President Obama video, we can synthesize the new lip sync videos given only Obama video. Sorry, given only Obama audio. The results are clear. America's businesses have created 14.5 million new jobs over 75 straight months. We've seen the first sustained manufacturing growth since the 90s. So know that only the mouth part is being synthesized here. The rest of the face and the, the, the background comes from source videos, which we don't have control over. Um, this also has applications in movie dubbing, where we want to sh modify the actor's mouth to speak a foreign language with, with the correct lip sync. So moving forward, how can you allow arbitrary expressions and head motion, not the one borrowed from source videos? In a project called Deep Video Portrait by Kim et al., they allow you to drive another person using a source video sequence on the left. And what you need here is just a single video of the target person on the right. And they show how you can drive the facial motion, the head motion of the target person using the, the source sequence on the left. Another recent technique that can be used for facial reenactment is called recycle GANs, or Recycle Generative Adversary Networks. Vansal et al. shows how you can transfer the motion in one video to another. So the real video is on the left, and it's used to drive um, a video of Stephen Colbert on the right. In contrast to the previous work I just showed, this one is more generic and can be applied to any video, including you know, a blooming video of one flower mapped to another. And this is done automatically. So artificial humans aren't really limited to you know, capturing real humans and turning them into avatars. Using AI, Keras et al. from NVIDIA show how machines can imagine new faces from scratch after we show them lots of celebrities' photos. And these two photos are what it dreams up. He also showed results for interpolating between different faces, all of which are synthetic. This is the work called Progressive Growing of GANs for Improved Quality, Stability, and Variation. So another recent technique that can generate realistic face photo is by Kingma et al. from OpenAI. And what's interesting about this is that the model actually automatically discovers important attributes like hair color, how much you smile, beard, or age, and allows you to change that attribute given any image. So here's the center image is, is a real photo. And you can change, for example, manipulate the hair color or making her look uh, younger or older. Again, these semantic attributes are discovered automatically as a byproduct of building a generative model.